Okay, I'm going to wrap up this series on proving trigonometric identities by showing you one last trick. But first, have you decided who your identity is? Superman, Batman, Robin, Wonder Woman, the Joker. I think I'm going to stick with Albert Einstein, although I probably need to let my hair grow out a little bit. Okay, consider this identity. 1 minus sine theta over cos theta equals cos theta over 1 plus sine theta. Now, if this is true, then I could multiply both sides by both denominators, and I've explained in a previous video that that's the same as what we call cross-multiplying. It gives me the same result as if I multiply these two and those two. If I do that, I get 1 minus sine sine theta times 1 plus sine theta equals cos squared theta. If I multiply this out, I can do that times that and that, that times that and that. Two of the terms will add up to zero, the negative sine theta and the positive sine theta. So I could just skip that step and write down 1 minus sine squared theta. equals cos squared theta. And then if I want to prove that's true, the left-hand side, which is that, is equal to cos squared theta. Because, or since, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. So if I bring the sine squared theta over here, it becomes negative. So QED Take that check, or better yet, smiley face. But a lot of people won't let you do that. The teacher might not let you do that because they'll say you can only work with one side or the other. So what's this trick that's equivalent to what I just did? Well, the trick is this. You multiply the right-hand side in this case by what's called the conjugate of the denominator which is 1 minus sine theta over the same thing. You can do that because this, of course, is equal to 1. So you're not changing anything. So this is the right-hand side. If I multiply that out, I get cos theta times 1 minus sine theta over if I multiply that out again, I'm going to get 1 minus sine squared theta. But that is cos squared theta. So I get cos theta times 1 minus sine theta over cos squared theta. And now, of course, you notice that this cos theta cancels one of those, leaving me with the left-hand side. 1 minus sine theta over cos theta. So QED, big fat check mark, or better yet, smiley face. So multiplying one side, top and bottom, by the conjugate of the denominator is a handy little trick which can enable, help you solve, or prove, I should say, identities. All right, that's the end of this video. If you want to suggest topics for future videos or series, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe, share, encourage other people to watch my channel. Thank you so much. Take care.